So in this video, we'll try to solve the problem number 34 of page 107 of the Uradi book. So the given equation is y double prime minus 2y prime plus y is equal to x e to the x minus e to the x. So we can see that this is a non-homogeneous equation. So in finding the complete solution for this problem, let us find first the yc so in finding yc let us first consider the homogeneous part of the of the equation so we rewrite the equation in this form y double prime minus 2y prime plus y is equal to 0 and then we will find the auxiliary equation given in this form m squared minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0 from there we can get the values values of m by factoring factoring we get this equation m minus 1 squared or getting getting the roots we get m1 and m2 is equal to 1 so this this is a case where there is a repeated roots so for repeated roots for repeated roots we use this equation in getting yc so c1 e to the xm plus c2 x e to the xm where our m is equal to 1 so our yc now is c1 e to the x plus c2 x e to the x. So after that, we can get um, solutions for this equation which we can la label as y1 and y2. So this y1 and y2 would be used in finding for yp for to complete our solution. So our y1 here is x e to the x and y2 is e to the x. So using uh, using variation of parameters in finding yp, we are given by this equation. So first, um, we have already a, a equation for y1 and y2. So using and uh, getting the first differential, we get this val these equations. So remember, in variation parameters, we'll be using those again, and we'll be utilizing these equations. So first, we need to find um, w, w1, and w2 to get u1 and u2, which is the integral of these equations. So in, in getting the the w first, we substitute the given. Um, y1 and y2 so it's in the form we get w is equal to negative e to the 2x similarly we do the same for our y1 and y2 so we get these equations and then we find y u1 prime and u2 prime and by dividing w1 over w and w2 for over w for u1 prime and u2 prime respectively so we we get this these equations for u1 prime and u2 prime so by integrating these equations we get the values of u1 and u2 so again uh, by integrating we will get u1 and u2 given by these equations and then and it is known that u yp is equal to u1 and u1 y1 plus u2 y2 substituting our u1 u2 and y1 y2 we get the yp so this is now our yp again so in getting the the in getting the final solution it is known that the same the complete solution is y of the y of x is equal to yc plus yp we already derive from equation for yc and yp so let's just add then so here's a yc and here's a yp so our complete solution is in this form so this will be our complete solution